okay what's going on guys let's try this problem right here here we have this question asking to find out this current source and also the current source when the resistant i mean voltage across the resistant load is changed to 20 volts now let's go to the first question so first question is asking to find out this current source so let's see which current is easy to find so in order to find we know that v is equal to ir therefore i is equal to v over r so we have to look at a place where we have voltage and resistance and if you look at this one in the load resistance we have resistance and also the voltage across this load resistance so we can find the current here and if we find the current that's going to be the current along this series right because current is equal in series now let's go ahead and find this current so let's call this one i l right IL is going to be equal to voltage over resistance. So 12 voltage is across this one. So this is going to be 12 divided by 4 and that's going to be 3 ampere. So the current across this one is 3 ampere. So current across this one also must be 3 ampere, right? So this is 12 volt and if I can find the voltage here, right, this node. At this node, the voltage is going to be addition of this voltage right here and here so we know this voltage already if we find this voltage we can come add them together and that's going to be the voltage at this node right now to find the voltage we can use v is equal to ir because we already know the current going through this one is going to be 3 ampere right because if it's going through this one 3 ampere it should go through this the current goes through this one also must be 3 ampere so let's go ahead and plug it in this equation so this is going to be V is equal to IR and uh, I is what 3 ampere times the resistance that is 6. So this is going to be 18 voltage. So 18 plus 12 that's going to be 30 voltage. So here we are going to have 30 voltage right. So this is 30 voltage. So if this is 30 voltage we, we can find the current right here because this is connected to the ground and bottom is 0. 30 minus 0 divided by 10 so that's going to be the current here so let's call this one ix and that's going to be 30 divided by 10 and that's going to be again 3 ampere so current going through this one also 3 ampere but without calculating this one we can directly find out because if you notice the resistance 6, 6 ohm 4 ohm 10 ohm right here we have 10 ohm resistance also here we have 10 ohm resistance so the current going through this one must be equal to this one so we already know 3 ampere without even calculating we can realize that this is also must be 3 ampere but if you calculate this one you will get still get 3 ampere so 3 ampere 3 ampere so the total current is going to be the source current is going to be 3 plus 3 because whatever the current going through this one must exit so this is a catch of slow right so 3 plus 3 that's going to be 6 ampere so 6 ampere is going to be the current source here and the second question is asking this is our answer for the first question right so this is the answer for the first question and the second question is asking if the voltage across this load resistance is changed to 20 volts what's going to be the new current source now to find this one we don't have to calculate this one again like that's the easy way to find that one what we can do is is source current is going to be equal to voltage new voltage across this load resistance over old voltage across the load resistance times the old current and if you multiply old source current if you multiply you will get the new source current and voltage across the I mean voltage across the low volt new voltage across this load resistance is 20 voltage right so this is 20 divided by the old one that is 12 12 times the current that is 6 ampere so 6 this is going to be 20 divided by 2 that's going to be 10 ampere so the new current source is going to be 10 ampere and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful See you next time.